Good afternoon, everyone. On behalf of the state nutrition officers across the country, we will put our hands together to come up with this presentation. Our presentation is just activities we have been doing across the various 36 states, some of the challenges we are passing through, the possible way forward, and some successes we have made over the years. Next slide. So our programs we implement are, next slide please. Cut across micronutrient deficiency control, adolescent nutrition, geriatric nutrition, community management of active nutrition, and then we have annual public awareness campaign to become so many more resilient. So you can see these are the delivery platform. All the activities we do are in this platform, either the facility based, facility can be the primary healthcare, secondary healthcare, and the tertiary. Those are the facility based. We also do what well, we have now the construction. We have the community and deliver this interventions. And now we also have the campaign. And then we have the outreach services. One of the programs we do is this maternal, infant, young, child nutrition. And it is broken into two. We have the maternal nutrition, and we have the infant and young child feeding. They are programs. We don't have time to go into details, but under Matana Nutrition, we also counseling and appropriate dietary intake. We also do supplementation of iron for it. We want to control uh, micronutrient deficiency. So we come to the other side. We talk about the early initiation. We are aware that when the child is born. What we do is to ensure that the benefits of nutrition is given to children at the ages of six to nine years. It's like a one every six months. It's four months of living and remember. What we do is to ensure that the benefits of nutrition is given to children at the ages of six to nine years. It's like a one. We know one infestation is very key to growth and development of any child, and so we take time to do what's the warming. Then I have followed for adolescents. We are all aware that when a child is coming up from the ages of 10 to 19, especially the women, to avoid anemia, and because they don't go through that normal monthly period, and if they are not eating well, if you're doing poor diet, they are most likely to become adult and become malnourished as they go into adulthood. And when they go into adulthood, and when they are pregnant, the women are malnourished, the child is fully malnourished, and so we need to control it. So at the adolescent stage, we do what's called in and out of school adolescent supplementation of iron folate. Then we talk of nutrition education. This one is very key because no knowledge 
People don't seem to follow the normal nutrition process. Six, uh, semen, which is malnutrition, using ROUTF. ROUTF means ready to use therapeutic food. Along the line, you will see a sample of that uh, ROUTF. It's like a wonderful, very wonderful. When you see the, the effect, this is the it's an energy dense food. It is used to manage all children that are severely malnourished. Here, this is MMP, micronutrient powder for healthy children. We understand that when a child is born, we advocate that for first zero to six months should be on exclusive breastfeeding. After six months, we know that the breastfeeding is no longer sufficient, and so we must add what's called complementary food. Across Nigeria, if you look at the, the dashboard or the surveys, we see stunting, wasting, and the rest of them. Micronutrients are another key point. One of the, one of the causes of malnutrition is hidden hunger or malnutrition. So the federal government is now putting in place that micronutrient powder should be incorporated in the healthcare delivery system across all health facilities. And so you see, the, and this, this is a survey. You see early initiation and exclusive breastfeeding. In 2013, look at where we were. And in 2018, you can imagine exclusive breastfeeding rate has gone up to this value. Now the wasting, as at 2014, the wasting and the wasting and the Twenty rate was the same, but as we talk about 2018, it has dropped down, which is an improvement. This is just this one is like an impact of what we are doing in the community during campaign, health service, and rest of them. These are some of the impact you see over the year between 2014 and 2018. We want to reduce the stunting rate among under five children in Nigeria. This is minimum dietary diversity. So many women over the years, don't know much about what's called dietary diversification when it comes to uh, complementary feeding. But because of counseling, intervention, and the rest of them, campaign, most women in the community are now aware that dietary diversification is key to infant and young child feeding. And so by 2014, it was 34. By 2018, it has gone down to about 37%. What are the reasons for this success? We'll be doing counseling during our antenatal care. We'll be doing annual world breastfeeding campaign across the, we join the entire world to celebrate annual world breastfeeding campaign. We'll do food demonstrations at the health facility to teach the women on what complementary food is all about. And community support group and during outreach services. What about the sensitization of women group and all stakeholders during World Breastfeeding Week? As we go into the air, maybe radio, television, campaign, and the rest of them, roadshow, when, when we are doing World Breastfeeding Campaign, then collaboration with NAPDA on what? On the code. This one is key because most mothers, they want to use what's called the BMS. And so NAPDA, there's no way you can go to the air facility to promote your product. These are some of the success stories using that ROUTF ready to use therapeutic food. These children are picked up from the community to see how minority that child is. And if we use that ROUTF within a week, within eight to 10 weeks of management, that child that is almost dying will say, this child cannot survive. This is the after story using that ROUTF. That is the child before, and this is child after eight to 10 weeks using that ROUTF. You can see this child, you can see this one. Within eight to 10 weeks, this child is done. We turn a different, you begin to embrace the child. Next slide, please. All these children are severely minor. You can see the tape here during screening. It is red. And so we cannot allow the child to die. Sometimes they say, oh, this child cannot survive. This child cannot survive. Say, leave the child for us. It will survive. You can imagine that one. Within eight to ten weeks, 
This is the result. That slide. You can imagine that. Huh? We decided to cover their faces because I think it is uh, it's unethical. I mentioned data collection. What is not done and not reported is assumed it's not done. So these are our data clerk who is collecting results and rest of them. For those ROUTF across the country, if we have not managed, we have managed over 5,000 children that are severely malnourished. Most of them are from the northern parts. You can see almost some state governors are pumping money to buy ROUTF, but some could not buy because of the wonder it does. So the challenge is, what are our challenges for political will? Funding gap by government at all level, staff attrition, low nutrition partner supports. Other challenges are insecurity, especially in the northern part of the Nigeria. All of us, we are aware. When Zamfara was even talk, saying this here, he said, yeah, it's just a hit and run. So you just go to the community, do it and run away. Because if you don't take time, you lost your life in the process of coming to save the children. Next slide. So what are our official plans? We want to do advocacy to prioritize nutrition at all level, creation of budget head for nutrition at all in all the states, time release of fund for nutrition activities. Then if we release fund and there's no person to do the work, then it becomes an issue. So we need government to do what? To employ staff to fill all our health facilities. Because our health facilities will go maybe only two staff, someone. So even as it's better to come for training at the state level, by the time you pull out that one person, the health facility remains zero. So we need government to do what to employ staff. There are more partner support for nutrition. Thank you and God bless.